slightly difficult. So, you know, Andy and Brenda run on a circular track in opposite directions, okay, with their starting points diametrically opposite to each other. So again, let's say Andy's and Brenda's, yeah, these are their starting points and they're running in opposite directions. So of course, then again, we'll say that they're running like this. All right, Andy runs eight complete circles. So I have some information to eight laps in 12 minutes. And Brenda runs five laps in eight minutes. Now, look, I have information about the you know distance they've run, the laps they've run, so that's great. But then the time that for which they have run is not the same. So how do I get my ratio of speeds? I need the ratio of speeds, right? What do I do? I'll just make the time equal then. Right, so that I can compare it. I know what the ratio of their speeds is. All right, so then let me just take the LCM of 12 and 8. Right, so let me find that in 24 minutes, I say that Andy runs 16 laps and Brenda, Brenda, because again 24 minutes, so Brenda runs 15 laps. Right, if I'm making the time thrice, then the distance run would also be thrice. Mm -hmm. So now I know that the ratio of their speeds are 16 is to 15. Yeah. So when Andy runs 16 complete laps, then Brenda runs 15 complete laps. But then look, here is the point. Here is my problem. They are not starting from the same point. So after 16 laps, Andy will be back here. After 15 laps, Brenda will be back over here. But what do I need? I need that they should meet for let's forget third time for the timing let's just focus on the first time at andy's starting point i want them both to meet over here right all right so then that means andy should have covered an integer number of laps right because andy has to come back over here what about brenda brenda should have covered an integer number of laps and then another half lap and should be at Andy's starting point. Does that make sense? All right, so then let me divide this by two. Eight is to 7.5. Do you understand why? Because I want Brenda to cover something 0.5 number of laps, right? Something and a half number of laps because then Brenda is going to be at Andy's starting point. Now what do I say to myself? I say, when Andy runs eight laps, you know, going on and on and on and on, eight laps. In the same time, Brenda runs 7.5. So she runs seven like this full and then another half and she reaches Andy's starting point. So when Andy has run eight laps, Brenda is at Andy's starting point and they are meeting for the first time at Andy's starting point, right? Now, I, but I don't need the first time. I need their third meeting. Now look at that. Now both Andy and Brenda are over here. After Andy has run eight laps and Brenda has run 7.5, they are both over here, right? At this point. Now I want them to come back to this point again, both of them. So how many laps would they need to run? Is it possible now that Andy runs eight and Brenda runs 7.5? No, if she runs 7.5, she'll be here. But I want them to come back to this point yet again, right? I know when does that happen? That when Andy runs 16 laps, then Brenda runs 15 laps, right? Then at that time, they'll again be over here. They'll both be over here. So then in their second meeting, Andy must have run another 16 laps and Brenda must have run another 15 laps. Ah, when this happens, they'll be back, both of them, at this point, right? They're both starting from this point, right? After running eight laps and 7.5, they are both starting from this point. So Andy should run 16 and Brenda should run 15. This is when they meet for the second time, at Andy's starting point. When do they meet for the third time? What about the third time? Again, now Andy should run another 16 laps and Brenda should run another 15 laps. And that is when they are going to meet here the third time, right? So how many laps has Andy run in this time? He's run eight plus 16 plus 16. That is equal to 
40 lakhs. So answer will be E. Thank you.